Joining us, CNN correspondent Thelma Gutierrez. Thelma, thank you for being with us. What have we learned about the autopsy reports, about the children's bodies? Nancy, it's so hard to, to report. Um, the autopsy reports are showing that the children actually suffered chop marks to their necks before they died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, the hatchet was actually found here uh, in the rubble. Yesterday, Nancy, we were on the air with you. We talked about the arson investigators who are coming through this rubble. They found the hatchet in the ashes. I want to pan over, Nancy, to just show you what this looks like. The devastation is so complete. Those kids walked in through that doorway. You can barely make it out right now through the frame. They were yanked inside by their father. The social worker tried to pound on the door to get back inside because she smelled gasoline. At that point, she goes to call her supervisor, and this thing explodes into flames. If we pan right over, you can see what appears to be a living room. The bodies of those children and their father were found right there in that living room, and they were all together in the middle of the room. And when I, when I look at this, what really stands out, Nancy, is the utter devastation and the irony of actually seeing a picket, a white picket fence uh, right off in the yard. And, and the, the whole thing is so incongruent, uh, especially when you hear about how these children died. I want to go to Denise Cox. This is Susan's sister. This all started one snowy night, about 14 degrees outside on a Sunday night, when this gorgeous young mom, just 28 years old, you're seeing Susan Cox Powell in these photos with her beloved children, goes missing. Denise, has your family been made aware that there are reports the children had gasoline on them as well? He put gasoline on the children? Um, as far as I know, um, they haven't said anything to me about that. They tried to conceal what their autopsy report was for a while because they didn't want to upset us even more. Um, they, they didn't tell me about that, and since I'm hoping it's not true, but again, with Josh, he's capable of anything.